Here's how to fix your Instagram confirmation code if it's not sending. Now, if you're trying to log into your Instagram account and you're trying to get that confirmation code either texted to you, your phone number, or emailed to your email address, I'm gonna walk you through steps to get that fixed. Now, let's hop into Instagram here. You can see, say I forgot my password here and I just wanted to hit forgot password or you're trying to log in and basically you're essentially using your phone number or email address to get that code to log in. Now, there are two different options you have. One is that you can use your username or email address and it will email you a code. So say if I enter in my email address, which I did previously, I can hop out of here and then find that specific email. Here it is, so I can go in here and you can see on where it says from, I can tap on that and it has security at mail.instagram.com. So that is the email address. Keep in mind, you wanna basically write this down and make sure that you haven't blocked them. I'm gonna show you how to find that. And then the other thing is that I also got them to text me a code and we'll go into here and open up that code as well. So I can tap on Instagram at the very top and then tap info. And you can see 32665 is the number that they texted me with. And that's essentially the number that most likely Instagram will use to text you that code. So remember both of those things because we're gonna use them in a sec. So let's hop out of here and open up our settings. And then we're gonna scroll down until we get to messages. Now again, we'll scroll down until we get to block contacts here and tap on that. And on here, what we essentially want to do is go through this list. You can see I have a ton of block contacts, but you wanna go through this list and see if there's any list on here that includes that specific email address or that phone number. So go through this list and make sure that you haven't blocked that specific phone number because essentially that will prevent them from being able to text you that code. Now another thing, let's go back. We could do a few other things here. On here under filter unknown senders, you wanna make sure that is not toggled on. So if it's on, just turn it off. This will essentially prevent any of those unknown senders, which is what they will use when they're sending you a code from being filtered into a different place on your iPhone. Now go through all these steps. If you have the right email address and phone number, so let's go back to Instagram, where is it? There it is. Make sure that basically when they're saying that they're sending you a code, it's using the right email address and the right phone number that they're sending it to. Of course, this helps you need to make sure they sometimes will not tell you the exact phone number and the exact email address. They'll just kind of have the first little bit and the end, but make sure that matches the email address or phone number that you're looking under. And another thing we can do is hop out of here and we'll open up a web browser and we will just type in is Instagram down. Because sometimes it does happen that you're trying to log into your Instagram account, but the account or the servers themselves for Instagram are down and it won't work. So let's go to down detector here. And if there's a big spike in reported outages, that essentially means that Instagram is down and that's why you're not able to get or receive any of those confirmation codes either to your email address or phone number. So go through all these steps, make sure they're not blocked, make sure the Instagram servers are not down, and then you should be able to get that code. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below, and I'll catch you on the next one.